The SNP holding the balance of power in a hung parliament after December's general election would be the best outcome for Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon has said. The First Minister said such a scenario would put Scotland into a powerful, influential position where the country's wishes could not be ignored by Westminster politicians. She made the comments at an election rally, where she also revealed to party activists she had spent had spent a fair bit of time considering her next steps if the UK's next Prime Minister refuses to grant her the power to hold a second Scottish independence referendum. Boris Johnson has already ruled out granting a Section 30 order, which would be necessary for the Scottish government to hold a legally binding ballot, if he is returned to Downing Street. She refused to rule out a legal challenge, saying, if we are in that situation, all options will be considered. The First Minister, speaking at an SNP election rally in Johnston, Renfrewshire, was tight-lipped about her plans, saying, we're in an election campaign and if we reach that point, if we get to that bridge, I will set out then how I intend to cross that bridge. She added, I think you can take for granted that I have spent a fair amount of time thinking about this over the past wee while. But I am not going to concede that point right now, I'm certainly not going to concede that point at the early stage of an election campaign, because as soon as you concede that point, you kind of concede the right of Westminster to have a veto over Scotland's future. Looking ahead to the December 12th election, she said that given the need to make Scotland's voice heard, the need to make sure Scotland's interests are to the fore, Perhaps the best way of doing that is to have the SNP and SNP MPs holding the balance of power in a situation where neither of the main parties have an overall majority. Great to support the brilliant at Mary Black at a packed town hall meeting in Johnston tonight. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot go slash x89 ptn 4 side. Nicola Sturgeon, at Nicola Sturgeon, November 12, 2019. Miss Sturgeon added this would put Scotland into a powerful, influential position where we can make sure Scotland cannot be ignored. She insisted the hard electoral reality was that her SNP is the main challenger to Boris Johnson's party in the 13 seats the Conservatives hold in Scotland. In 2017, the 13 Scottish Conservative MPs were crucial in keeping the then Prime Minister Theresa May in Downing Street. Miss Sturgeon told voters she believed the best way to deprive the current PM of a majority was to support her party. The First Minister stated, Fundamentally the question here is who decides Scotland's future, is it Westminster, whether that is Boris Johnson or Jeremy Corbyn. Megaphone, at Mary Black, if you be for more on this story, visit the news article link.